Hello everyone, I am Tiffany Starr and you are talking with Tiff. Before we get into this, I just want to thank Dylan Burns for hosting this debate with Critically Thinking Veteran on his channel. I encourage everyone watching to subscribe to Dylan Burns TV on both YouTube and Twitch. He delivers quality and consistent political content. This conversation with CTV wasn't supposed to turn into a debate. He just wanted to know more about trans people, which is why we were both relaxing and partaking in our alcoholic beverages of choice. But things take a turn partway through, making this my impromptu second debate. As this was only my second debate, I do stumble over a few words and lose my train of thought a few times. The delicious whiskey didn't help matters any. Despite all that, I think I delivered my arguments well and needed the debate practice anyways. So grab a snack, a refreshing beverage, smash that like button, and enjoy the show. So today, uh, this was actually not an or a, uh, a conversation I organized. This is a conversation that CTV uh, wanted to kind of have, and uh, this kind of slowly morphed into a uh, conversation between Critically Thinking Veteran and Tiffany Starr uh, over uh, certain trans issues that um, I guess uh, CTV wanted some clarifications on, on some information, having a conversation. So I am here simply to uh, somewhat guide the conversation if necessary, make sure that everybody you know gets gets their point across clearly, and just jump in if, if it gets too heated to kind of like, um, well, I mean, if, if somebody can't get their point across or if somebody needs, if I need to jump in because somebody hasn't gotten time to speak. So there isn't really going to, for, since this is more of a conversation generally about trans issues, there's not really an opening statement on this or a uh, closing statement because it is not really um, in that manner. So really, generally, I guess I, I, I first I should send it to the person who was interested in having the conversation in the first place uh, with you, Tiffany, which is CTV, to kind of give why he was interested in having this conversation, what kind of questions he has. <clears throat> well, it's I you wanted to introduce tweet... yourself first, of course. Oh, uh, well, for those of you that do not know me, I am critically thinking veteran, and I like to know all sides of a particular issue before I decide to make up my mind on it. Now, I will say ahead of time that I feel like I have my mind kind of made up on where I'm at on that. With that being said, I'm curious to know what new information might be revealed. I wanted to have kind of a fireside chat. I don't really want to get into heated debate and arguing. I don't feel like that would be useful to uh, anybody listening other than just for entertainment value, but entertainment value aside, I really wanted to have more of a, a uh, like I said, a fireside chat with Tiffany, and let's figure out where we might be able to find some common ground with the ways from where society has come from to where society is, is heading and how we can kind of bridge the gap between people. That's what I would like. So Tiffany... Uh, what what I would like, if you would just tell us a little bit about yourself, how your journey uh, in life has brought you to where you are now, and uh, just kind of go from there. Um, just give cheap people a chance to get to know you and give me a chance to get to know you. I will, but I need to at least introduce myself. Uh, I am Tiffany Starr. I am also known as the Adult Entertainer Gamer because I do adult entertainment, and by that I mean adult film. And uh, I entertain adults. Kids don't watch me. It's really bad for you. Anyways, I do political content, uh, at least recently, and it's been more popular than my gaming content. I also can be found on twitch.tv slash xxx Tiffany underscore star. That's star with two R's. XXX. So... Come check me out. It's mostly gaming stuff, but I do do some politics. Uh, my YouTube channel is just Tiffany Style with two eyes. So uh, come say hi. Anyways, uh, a little about me. Uh, I am trans. I grew up in a Christian household. I am not Christian. I'm an atheist. I play video games. I uh, work a vanilla job on top of the adult film stuff. I've been actually branching away from adult film recently in favor of uh, political discussions. And it's somewhat difficult because the, the stigma behind being an adult film kind of prohibits me from being taken seriously in a lot of uh, context. Uh, it, it's, it's an uphill battle for me, but uh, 
it's been more popular than my other content, so I'm just trying to do what I can. Is there anything specific you want to know, like, CTV? Like, about well, my I... upbringing? Or, like, I, I can ramble on. I don't want to ramble. I want to, like... No, no. Uh, for me, it... people, I think... Topping. Favorite pizza topping. Uh, I, I don't know. I like I, I like meat lovers. So anything from a meat lovers, maybe pepperoni, maybe hamburger, maybe uh, sausage. I like those. Is that acceptable? Well, I like that. Start, start I mean, off I'll, I'll, I'll let, I'll I'll let like you it. live. Okay, that's that's as good as I can ask for. No, I started <laughs> off with some common ground with me, so that's good. Even if Dylan is a filthy leftist, right? So. Well, I'm also a filthy <laughs> leftist. Well, you got common ground with me right now, so, you know. Just because I'm a leftist doesn't mean we don't have common ground. Well, we're trying to get to that point, right? I thought we were already at that point. We're getting there. So I find that when I'm talking and getting to know people, that it's very important to get to know their past, or at least what they're willing to share, um, to kind of get more of an understanding as to where they're coming from. Because these things are never just, well, this is my position, and if you don't like it, oh, well, like... If you really care about somebody, if you really want to get to know them, you, at, you you have these kind of conversations where you get to know people, what their experience has been, how they were shaped by the experience that they had. So uh, whatever you're comfortable with telling us uh, about how you went from, uh, you know, say being a toddler, the earliest memories you have to not in full detail, but just kind of a roundabout way to how Tiffany Starr came to be. All right, so you just want to know about how I transitioned. Because if I do a whole backstory on my life, which I plan on doing a lot of in segments on YouTube about my history, uh, that would take up more than the two hours we're allotted or however much time we have. Uh, if you're just asking about my transition, uh, I knew when I was young that I was different, about five years old. I didn't know how, obviously, because you don't know what trans is when you're five years old. So I just knew I was different. And growing up, I was always socially awkward. I'd like I'd, I'd try to like hit on women, but as like a woman, but not being a woman at least physically, like how how I looked at the time, like the 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 look I presented was male, and trying to hit on another woman like another woman while you're presenting as male seems really uh weird, and it felt weird as well. Uh, I didn't find out I was trans until about thirteen years old. And then I found out I was I was not the only one that was like me. You know, the internet really helped with that. And as soon as I heard about trans people, it clicked instantly. I knew exactly how I was different. Up until that point, I was completely confused. I didn't know why I felt the way I did or, you know, if there was something wrong with me or not. And yeah. after that, I uh, uh, was kind of torn because when I was in high school, I got engaged to my ex fiance and I was torn between hiding this revelation from her or coming out and transitioning and most likely losing her, which I did because she, she's straight. She doesn't want to date women. So I was torn for about two years struggling. I had like an internal struggle. Um, I, I, I was kind of like a bad person about it too. I, I kind of lashed out at other people because I was like having this internal struggle and I didn't want to uh, like seeing other people that were happy and they weren't having this kind of turmoil, like this inner turmoil kind of pissed me off. So uh, I was, I was kind of lashing out until one day I finally accepted that I would transition. And one of the reasons I transitioned was there was a, a woman who, who was a trans woman, uh, but she didn't transition until she was like in her fifties. And we were discussing, it was at like an event. And she said, I wish I transitioned at your age. At the time I was like 17. And she said, because I knew when I was young and denied it. And I got married, had kids, got a nice job, got my degree. And then later on, I just couldn't take it because it was eating at me. Even though I had all this stuff that was supposed to make me happy, I wasn't happy because I wasn't myself. And she finally transitioned. And even though she's happy with herself now, she lost all of that. Like, she lost her her, her wife, who is now her ex-wife. Uh, her kids don't really like her anymore because they don't understand. And they side with the, uh, the ex-wife. Uh, they lost their job. They didn't benefit from hormones and uh, transitioning because they started really late and they were already going through like some kind of male pattern baldness 
and it was it was a clusterfuck. And after seeing that person and hearing their story about what they went through, I'm like, I'm not ending up like this person. And that's when I like drew the line, told my ex fiance that I was trans, and she How at old first, were you at this point? huh? How old were you? Seventeen. At this point? Okay. Yeah, I was I'm engaged. Sad. I was engaged yeah. for a while in high school. Young love, stupid shit. But anyways, uh, probably probably don't like marry that. the person that's your high school sweetheart that's just like a tip unless you're like really lucky i probably wouldn't but very um, few people get lucky like that very yeah few. exactly so um so i told her and at first she said it was fine until i actually started taking the estrogen this is late 17 early 18 i got my name changed and uh just those two things alone she's like i can't do it so it almost like she was trying to call my bluff like she didn't actually think i was trans and i was just like spouting nonsense which kind of pissed me off but that's that's a, a beef with her anyways yep, so and that was your ex your ex fiance yeah yeah we okay. split uh she didn't I'm want making... to split yeah. though like she she loved me it just she she didn't love women so uh we split when we broke up she was devastated and i was sad too but i hit the ground running like i now i had motivation nothing was in my way i could get my surgeries i could uh, do everything else I had to do for my transition, see my doctor, therapist, everything I needed to do to continue onwards. And uh, she kind of stumbled. Like, she didn't uh, hit the ground running because she didn't want to lose me. But I, I wanted to find myself. As far as I'm concerned, she was in love with someone that I wasn't. So, And uh, that's that's when I started to transition. So, late 17, early 18. Is there more stuff you would like to know? That's how I came well, to be. Well, just uh, how old are you now? Just if you don't mind. You never ask a woman how old she is. I'm asking. Oh, I okay. I literally right yesterday just turned twenty one. Okay. Well, this is. I'm just trying to in, like. No, that's I'm, a joke. I, I'm. I'm not telling you my age. Just the point. Wait, do I look twenty one? I have no idea. That's why I'm asking a question, right? And I feel like that it's kind of relevant considering that what I'm trying to do here is to understand you. So how many years have we gotten away from the ex-fiance, which I'm clearly paying oh. attention to? That's, that's kind of because you were 17. How many years has Chris since then? Uh, that's I'm, kind of where I'm at with I, uh, if you're, uh, This is going to give away my age a little bit, but it's fine. I've been transitioned. like I've been like this for over 15 years. So Okay. So, so I've been like kidding. this for almost okay. the majority of my life. Okay. That that it? Do you have any more questions? Well, <laughs> of course, there's more questions, right? When whenever you you're like you know weaving and wobbing the, the questions, and now I'm like, okay, but well, I wasn't I weaving am, and wobbing. I thought it was pretty I am, straightforward. I, I mean, I pivot because like to to other topics because one story can lead to another story. Like about okay. my ex fiance, but I'm trying to stay on topic. That's fine. No, you look. You are the uh, you're the show right now, right? I'm just kind of asking questions and trying to understand how Tiffany Starr got to where she is now. So, um, seventeen, you go through this with your ex fiance. Uh, now, when you say transitioned, what do you mean when you say transitioned? Uh well, besides accepting the fact that I'm a uh... Like, like that I'm trans and that I'm a woman? Well, the only reason why I ask is because there's a lot of language out there about what's transitioned and what's not, right? Everyone is, say, has so different statues of what a trans woman is. Some people are, um, what is it called? Uh, like trans medicalists. They're called trans medicalists, which means you have to get some kind of medical, whether it's hormones or surgery, to be trans. Some people believe you can be trans without... Uh, getting any medical surgeries or uh, hormone uh, treatment. That's like a broad topic, but if you're talking about when did I consider myself like transitioned, it was after I started hormones. Um, I started hormones not long after I split with my ex fiance, and then I got my name changed. From there, I worked on getting surgeries, and then I got some surgeries done. I have a surgery coming up in February as well. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be a month of me looking like a mummy because I'm getting my face done. So fun stuff. So I, I would probably say as soon as I came out and started actually taking the pills is when I started to feel like myself because I wasn't, you know, being poisoned by testosterone. Okay. No offense to you and Dylan. 
Oh no, I don't think we see it as a poison at all. But everybody's entitled to their own view, of course. Uh, well, it's a poison to someone who's M to F trans. So the reason why I ask is because some people, like you said, have a standard for what's transition and what's not, right? And that standard is not agreed upon by all people. So just off Jump Street, it certainly seems like it would be very hard to be able to find a common language with people when the when the people that are being afflicted with this can't agree on the language themselves. So for somebody like me who's on the outside looking in and I see all these different languages going around, it makes it hard for me, one, to be able to, to get a real grasp on what's being said, how it's being said, and two, why is it that there's always such an attack on anybody that's trying to ask questions? Well, no, there's, I, I, there's a why definitive guess... version for being trans. The people I'm talking about, the trans medicalists, they're usually called uh, true scum, where they're trans people that think you can only be trans if you get work done or estrogen. When there's a bunch of trans people that want to transition, they can't for... Uh, either health reasons or where they live or the state of the laws or policies implemented in where they live. For example, there's places uh, in the in the South, like a lot of red states, won't let you change your name or the uh, gender marker on your birth certificate. If you get, even that's even if you get everything done. There are some places that even if you get a vagina, you can't even change it to an F marker. So it's not always on them. And sometimes some people, if I'm honest, win the shit lottery. No matter what they'll do, even even if they're trans, they just know that their transition will just get them ridiculed because there are some people who are trans that opt not to do it because they know they won't pass well. And it's sad that, that the society is like that, you know, because they're going to get shit on by people down the street or online or whatever. But some people make that conscious decision. So you can be trans without any of that stuff and just choose not to because you're worried about A, B, or C or you're unable to prevent uh, a, B, or C. Does that make so sense? I'm glad, yeah, and I'm, I'm glad you brought up the law because the law is something that I try to hold in in a high regard considering that it's the one thing that we all have to be able to live under, right? So recently the Supreme Court ruled with, uh, well, I don't have the case number, but I'm sure you're aware of the federal uh, Supreme Court when they ruled on Title IX, which, which uh, brought transgender and anything else underneath the definition of sex so that it was, you know, those people were protected under Title IX. I assume you're familiar? Yeah, because your, your gender identity is tied to your sexual identity. Okay, so gender identity is tied to sexual identity. Well, I mean, yeah, like, that's why uh, they had that whole, the Supreme Court voted in favor, because, like, for example, if you discriminate against a man, like just a cis man, dating another man in the workplace, but you won't discriminate against a woman who dates another man in a workplace. That in itself is discrimination, because even though they're not trans, you're discriminating them based on sex and preference. Right. So that's where, like, when we all have to use the language of, of the law, right, we are, we're all required to use that. Uh, and understanding the law and how it affects people is definitely something that is should be and is very important. So the thing that is 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 troubling in all of it is when you mentioned society and how they view things right and just as an instance there was uh i'm sure you remember back i think it was a year and a half two years ago when the the whole transgender bathroom conversation came up yeah and that's so, unwarranted well the reason why i ask is because it seems plausible to me that there would be a conversation for parents whenever it comes to going into public restrooms or anything else when it comes to trying to protect their children uh, from people that... This has nothing uh, to do with could, trans people. Well, like, it has, every, it has no. everything to do with the... I mean, you, you said... If, if, you, if you have a identity. child and you're going into the men's room, are you going to be worried about the men in the men's room who aren't trans, like just the cis men touching a kid? Well, if they're going into the women's bathroom, as an instance, no. and they well, have... you know, rape is still illegal. You can what what what's going to stop them? Like just a man, not someone trans, a man going to the women's restroom to rape someone. They're going to throw on like a wig and a dress just to pretend they're trans to get an extra three seconds ahead of time to touch someone's kids randomly. If someone's going to rape someone, the law, what bathrooms you enter, isn't going to stop them. Rape is no, still but illegal. Right... This no, is but not... right now. Hold on. And there's Hold actually on. no. There's no data, and the, they've tried this because even people who are against uh, trans people going into the bathrooms can find proper data that uh, it's an epidemic. Trans people aren't 
going into, like, trans women specifically, because they always attack the trans women, uh, specifically on going into bathrooms and touching kids. They go in there, they do their makeup, they piss, and then they leave. That's what I do. There's no epidemic of this happening. So all, all this fear-mongering is unfounded. It's based on not, no evidence. I'm not trying to fear-monger. All I'm trying to do is point to what you said was is that your sexual identity is tied to your gender identity, right? No, 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 no. So, your se sex and gender are different. When I say sexual... Well, we were talking about the Supreme yourself. Court decision. They were saying that you can't discriminate against gender because uh, sexual aspects are tied to your gender. Okay, so you don't think that there is a, a plausible reason for any parent... To be worried about their children going into the bathroom of somebody that might have the genitalia of someone of the opposite sex. First off, not every trans woman has a penis. Second off, uh, no, there isn't because there's no data to suggest that's an issue. So it doesn't have to be data in order for people to. That, say, that just means hey, that they're worried over genitalia, nothing. Hey, that that the problems on the their shoulders, not on the trans women who are right, going to. Now, you know, you know, it's well, this is a statistic that trans women who are forced to use the men's room are more likely to be abused either sexually, physically, or both than a trans woman going into the, a cis woman's restroom. Okay, let's take, take a moment, CTV. Uh, you were trying to say something a moment ago? Well, what I would like, and we started off this way, which was the actual consideration of the idea, right? For me, parents and their children do have a legitimate claim in wanting to protect their children as much as they possibly can. So whether or not this is a specific issue to the trans community, right, which it kind of is, considering that there is situations where somebody that has the same genitalia as, or the opposite genitalia as the predominant majority of the the, po the populace that would be using this bathroom, it certainly seems like there is a conversation to be had. Now, I think that perhaps maybe just having at least one gender neutral bathroom or even it being like a, a family bathroom, like you see in some airports where you can go in and be by yourself is, you know, is completely like, why isn't that a thing? It should be right. Well, but at the same time, whenever you have the majority bathroom for male and female or man and woman, right, that there should be some type of matching of something here. Otherwise, you could potentially put the kids in harm. And I think that we as adults have a responsibility to try at least to protect the kids in some meaningful way. Uh, I would agree if there was data suggesting that they're in harm from trans people in bathrooms and there isn't. There, there's like none. Also, it, it's a side note. I'm just throwing it out there. But when you're like man and woman, you're totally excluding uh, non-binary people right there, which I know... You probably don't care, but they will. The people watching who are non-binary will totally care about that, who don't identify as man or woman or identify as both. Well, it certainly and seems like whenever we're talking about the issue of public, right? Yeah, well, you know, what, uh, this is anecdotal, but it's important because it substantiates uh, a, a broader claim. Uh, I went to PAX East, mm -hmm. and they had gender bathrooms, all gender bathrooms. Yeah, almost everything but the toilet. Okay. Okay. Sorry, the wife was talking and she takes precedence, so. I didn't uh, see her talking and she was uh, going down your throat. Well, <laughs> she's going down on something, but it wasn't my throat. Uh, let's keep this, let's keep this on topic. <laughs> keep this on topic, Anyways, please. um, when I was at PAX East, they had an all-gender bathroom, and I'm, it wasn't just single, it wasn't like a family bathroom, which, by the way, I think they should have more gender-neutral bathrooms. I agree with you on that. I think that would really alleviate the problem altogether if, if just no one gave a shit. They're like, whoever wants to use this bathroom, it's fine. But at PAX but do East... You think that should be, do you think that should be mandated by the government? We're not talking about the government right now. We'll get to the government if you want, but right we now I'm just talking about did when we brought up PAX, Title IX, East, though, PAX East. PAX East. Right? It's a huge convention. There was over 20,000 people there. And the bathrooms all three days of the weekend were for everyone to use. And you know how many incidents there were with men and women? Not even trans women. Just cis men and cis women in the stalls. The same bathroom. You know how many incidents there were? Zero. Okay. And that's that not even with trans women. The, the data that you're marker? suggesting just Hold isn't on. there. So. Damn it. Hold on. I've been pretty patient now. Don't test me, please. Listen, I stopped okay? for you to kiss your wife, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, this is like the fifth time now. 
Dylan's already had to say something. He right? said something so... once. <laughs> Wait, are you drunk? How many fingers am I holding up? Do you see this look on my face right now? This okay. is not a look that's impressed. So, okay, okay. So what, I'm trying, you... what I'm trying to do here is to get the one instance of this particular stadium is not the in, you know, like a telltale for the entire country. There is an entire country that is majority male or female, right? And the what's the population? Well, no, of trans the, women the, are male or female. Like, what? Well, the, well, they're well, not transitioning have, from I one to. Like, I would I would like to hear CTV finish his point. Then okay, you'll be sorry, able to sorry, I would, counter it after. Didn't mean to hop in. Yeah, because yeah, what I just said is just the majority population in this country, right, and across the world is either a male or female, right? Now. The transgender community is a much smaller part of the population as a whole. So my question to you now is, is how many people approximately are inside this community? What, trans people? There's like millions of us. You can't you exclude have, millions of trans people just because they're, they're not have a, the majority have like of the population. I'm and by the way, the majority of uh, the country actually sides with trans people. So if that if you're going with the majority, then that's already settled. Okay, so I asked a question, and the okay, question was... Okay, repeat your question then. I'll... The question was, is approximately how many people in the country are affected by this? How many people are transgender? Uh, like, millions. Like, at, at least... Do you have a at number, or are you taking a guess? Over a million. No, I have I, a specific number, no, but I know it's over a million. Like, it's over a million. I know, I don't have the specific, I don't know if it's like... One million eight thousand eight hundred thousand, whatever, or if it's like two million five hundred mm. mil, thousand, um, whatever. I don't have a specific number on hand. That's something we could probably Google, but that's still. Well, a I can, I could just sure. give it to you if you want. Oh um, yes, please. Thank um, you. Zero point six percent of the population and identify as transgender, accounting for one point four uh, million adults. One point four. There you go. Million. So you're going to so tell 1.4 million that they can't use the restroom that they identify with and makes them feel safe just because some people might be uncomfortable, even though there's no data that shows that they would be harmed? Well, if your solution to this problem is to tell everybody else that they need to get over themselves, yeah. right? The, 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 the discomfort right there, of the, the majority does not outweigh the rights of the minority. It does when it comes to something as private as using the bathroom. Help me and they, my wife. That's why they have what? stalls. What do you think what trans women do in there? You think they go in there and they well, whip out their big fucking dick and throw it on the sink and they're like, check this out. Look at me. I'm a trans woman. Uh. No, they don't do any of that shit. They I just don't know. I've walked in the bathrooms before and there's been dudes that actually had their pants dropped all the way to their ankles before. And hey, I'm saying, I walk in and, got, is and I'm looking at their ass, right? And when I see it. No, because I was talking. Right? So when I walk into a bathroom in the past, and I've seen men have their 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 pants hanging all the way down to their ankles, if there would have been a little boy that walked into the bathroom at that time, guess what he would have saw? This grown man's ass. So there are issues that happen inside of bathrooms, and it's a very private area, and I really feel That's... like that, that is an area where everyone should absolutely be able to feel safe whenever they're dropping a deuce. That's a men's room. They have urinals. If someone's pulling their dick out and pissing, it's probably at a urinal. If you see someone's ass in a stall, you're looking under that stall. Or no, over not it. at the. The dude was sitting right there at the no, urinal. No, but in a women's like restroom, this... when trans women pee, they don't pee at a urinal. I don't know. I don't have a lot of experience in female bathrooms, but my wife I'm does. I'm you because she... I use the women's bathroom all the time. Right, and when I talk to my wife about this exact same issue, she does not want a dick being in the same room as her Why, whenever she... she's going to do her business well, I mean, because she. I mean, has... she's married to she you. Doesn't... Is she worried about your dick? Why doesn't she want a dick in her room? Do you walk into her when she's in the bathroom because she's your wife and sometimes you have to brush your At teeth while she's point, peeing? I'm hoping that you're going to start listening to what I'm okay. saying. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take the reins for a second here because Please this do. is getting this is getting a little hectic. Um, I wanted to um put put something here for a second. Okay, so um, uh, you you talk about how uh, CTV how some people might feel uncomfortable with somebody having a penis within the environment where uh, it is a female bathroom or maybe someone feel uncomfortable if there is a vagina in the male uh, restroom. So uh, a question I would I would put up here is, uh, let's say uh, Tiffany uh, had to go into, uh, went into male bathrooms instead. Do you think that uh, Tiffany, who presents extremely, extremely feminine, 
do you think that that would make men feel uncomfortable? Or if uh, women who had transitioned to men and look extremely masculine had to go into male bathrooms? I kind of feel like that when this, when this whole thing blown up to begin with, because I personally want equality and equity for everybody, but more so equity. I want people to have opportunity, right? In this specific situation, what I want or what I would like to see is the people that are passing, like Tiffany Starr here, right, to be able to do uh, what is natural. The problem comes in is whenever you have people that are not so passing or might just be being a crossdresser, and then they attempt to try to do that. And they're, and then you walk in, and they're like, mm-hmm, right? And then you, you potentially put children at harm because this person is trying to LARP as something that they are not. So that's where it becomes inherently important for people of a particular community to be very, very cognizant of one, where they're, where they're at uh, in the community versus the community at large and how other people that you've already pointed out that might have nefarious means would go about exploiting those nefarious means in order to do something bad, whatever that is. That's where I feel like there's a responsibility on the community itself. This argument would be way more compelling if there was data that that was happening, but it isn't. You're you're fear mongering about stuff that's not happening, and that's the problem. I like, don't really he, think here's I've the thing. What if there's any what's fear the, in the, anybody if right there's now? There's a what trans I'm woman that's just, un- do, just that doesn't win the point. genetic lottery, and she goes into the women's restroom because she's actually trans and identifies as trans. She just doesn't look as passable as you would like them to look. What's the difference between someone not? Like saying that they're cross-dresser as opposed to being trans. How are you supposed to know? Well, if you're passable and I don't know, then I don't know. Wait, do so I? you're saying that trans women can use the bathroom if they're passable? That and that's it? What about that what erases I'm their identity? Is, what I'm saying is... Do you think I'd be it... safe if I walked into her men's room? Okay, okay let's beg, take a second for... Okay, you've asked a lot of questions in succession. I don't even remember some of them. Uh, I want to give CTV some time to ask those, answer those questions. Why is it that you think that your rights should somehow trump the children's right to be safe? The children have rights to be safe? That's why rape's illegal? What are you talking about? So because you make A illegal, it's not going to happen, right? No, no, no. He, listen, you, first off, you well, answered my question. Second off, all right, let's just, not even trans women, let's just say that there's a, a woman with her son or, or daughter in the woman's restroom, and you go in there, you... And then you just go in there and you pee and you leave. Was that kid in danger? Not from me. Yeah, but I'm a yeah. Responsible and, but individual. are you a man with a penis? I'm not, but I'm not everybody. The no, law is not written. You're, just for you're the a guy with a penis. Scenario, is it? How do the we know that you're not going to do that? I'm trying really hard. You're you're testing the shit out of my patience. <laughs> I'm telling you. Listen, un- until you come up with a, a better argument, I, that's what I have to do. Just interrupt and then just say that one thing matters but one thing doesn't right so you think that kids should just have to deal with whatever because you want the right to be kids able to don't do this fucking care then then kids aren't in there going mommy oh my god i'm afraid of that trans person get them away no, from me you're they're assuming gonna rape me everybody, kids hold on you're that. assuming that everybody thing. you're assuming that everybody is like you and you already pointed out that there are a lot of people that aren't as understanding as say me right so because of that You need to have some type of responsibility in your community when you are operating out in public with the other 329 million people that are in the society that are not a part of the 1 million community. No, but you're talking about kids. Let's not pretend you're talking about kids. Kids don't give a fuck. You're talking about adults that are worried that their kids are going to get touched by people that could they could get touched by anyone just walking in the bathroom. There are laws. Well, at this point with COVID, I think we all got a legitimate interest in no, keeping six feet distance. if someone wants to go into the women's bathroom and rape someone, them being trans or not won't stop them. Rape no, is still illegal. Right, but there's still people that do nefarious things. Yeah, and, and, not. and that's why it's illegal. So, right. So, okay. Okay. Can, can I take a second here? I wanted to ask a question here. Uh, to both of you, so uh, I could ask pressing questions this way since you know, there's a, there's a little bit of talking uh, talking over each other going on. So, uh, first question is going to be to Tiffany, and then I'll ask one to CTV. Tiffany, do you think that um, you know um, it, it seems that a lot of uh, a lot of women uh, significantly have a concern about people uh, with penises being uh, within bathrooms, uh, and that they feel uncomfortable with that? Do you believe that uh, uncomfortability 
um, matters when when coming to uh, coming to account on whether uh, trans people should be allowed in or not within the bathrooms? Not when it trumps their uh, civil rights. No, being uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable when like someone's behind me driving on my bumper. That doesn't mean they shouldn't be able to drive. Like well, their, their discomfort okay. doesn't outweigh our rights. And you could make an argument if there was data that trans women were rampantly going into bathrooms doing nefarious things, but their entire paranoia and discomfort is based on nothing. It's just based on that person is a penis. It doesn't mean every time you're in a room with someone with a penis, something bad's gonna fucking happen. That doesn't happen. Additionally, like I said earlier, not all trans women have penises. Even ones that don't particularly pass well, not all of them have penises too. How the hell are you gonna know? How are they gonna know? They should stay out of their pants and just let trans women do what they do because no one's going in there to do anything but piss. The only thing you're going to do is push them to the men's room where they're in way more danger, whether they pass or not. Okay, uh, I wanted to ask CTV a question now. Uh, historically, there has been always this like idea that uh, uh, homosexuals uh, are, here, are going to prey on children. This is a, a long-lasting uh, stereotype about uh, homosexuals. Is when it comes to trans people and trans bathrooms, uh, about trans people going into uh, male or female bathrooms, is this not just a repackaged version of this type of gay people are coming for your kids kind of syndrome? I mean, if somebody wanted to be pretty narrow minded about it, sure. But the reality is, is that somebody that's gay is, well, they could be cross dressing, but typically, they're, they just look like everybody else, right? Whatever their normal day-to-day -day is, this is one of those things that they don't have to change their entire appearance to try to mask the fact that they don't have the genitalia matching to what would be typically associated with this particular bathroom, right? What I felt like when this whole thing first kicked off was that this was an attempt to, I don't know, say almost like gaslight the trans community. And because I've really felt like, at least the trans people that I know, felt like that by putting a spotlight on it now instead of you being able to because you're passable going to said bathroom night now there's legislation or uh, any type of rules or the way people are looking at it that gets miscued because now there's a hyper focus on it i really feel like that the justice that could have been done correctly for the trans community would have been title nine to get passed which it did or the uh, supreme court ruled on that and then at the same time for those people that are transitioning and can make the transition uh to what they desire to be then there wouldn't even need to be a discussion for anything else because then the bathroom situation is well if i'm literally just going in there and doing my own business and it's nobody else's business well then that's that's one thing and i have no problem with that the problem comes in whenever you have people that because and it did happen right after this gaslighting people that were just cross-dressers or doing whatever, then using that as a, as a way to be able to go into those other bathrooms and to be able to see things that were going on that they would not otherwise have had the ability to, to walk in there to do. And that right there is a big concern for me because I want to be able to maintain the instance of a child so long as humanly possible because this world is kind of shit. It just seems like a lot of the stuff you're saying is the same stuff QAnon's saying, where it's like, save the children, but their interest is more about anti-LGBT than it actually is about saving the children, because the children aren't being harmed, okay. and there's no data so much, that shows that. On, you're Wait, to no, 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 you right just now. talk you're for a minute. Can I talk for a little bit? QAnon. Guess how many articles of QAnon I've read? Yes. Zero? Fucking zero, so why the hell are you even bringing that up? Fucking you're trying to I was gaslight close. You. Oh, God. Because you gaslighted me. That's all you're trying to do. No, I'm not gaslighting you. I'm just saying it's very comparable to what QAnon's doing with the whole Save the Children movement. And when if I'm completely them. unaware of it, and yet Anyways, you're trying to associate it with me, guess what you're doing? I'm not saying in bad faith, but the way that you prevented it when you said wearing a mask, there are some trans women that go in there. They're not wearing masks. They're just not like fortunate enough to pass. Go back and watch the pod and see if I said the words wear a mask. Yeah, you said... Ma like wear a mask masquerade going into the women's room you said that i don't know if you were referring to cross dresses or trans people or what but some people who are trans will cross dress before they actually start taking hormones to ensure that they either a pass enough and they won't be laughing stocks when they transition because they're worried about how society will treat them because society is taught to be assholes to trans people uh, not all of them obviously since the majority are on their side but 
again, like when people think of trans women, they're not thinking of people like me. They're thinking of what you just said, cross dresses, masquerading to touch kids or whatever. Uh, secondly, a lot of the same arguments you were talking about, like Dylan was talking about repackaging, like like gay people going into the bathrooms. They were worried about that. Let's just go a step back before then. In uh, the past, during segregation, where white men, women didn't want black women in there because they thought that they would do the same shit. Like, oh, I can't trust being in there with a black woman. You know, who knows if she's going to, like, beat me up or something like that. It, it's the same fucking argument. You just no, you just keep changing who, who you're worried about. Not. You went from black it's people to gay not people to trans argument, people. And it's disingenuous for you to bring that it's up. Not, it, well, it, this well, is an well, argument that they used. Let's, let's, let's take a second, okay? Tiffany, you say what the argument is, and then CTV, you say why that isn't the argument. It isn't you, the same because whoa, 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 Give me a second. I said she would say what yes. the argument is, and then you would say why that isn't the argument. My because argument it, is that conservatives have been using the same argument, and they've just been swapping out the uh, disenfranchised community. For example, back with segregation, that's why they had a separate bathroom, uh, place to sit, water fountains for black and white people. That was one of the fears, is what you're talking about. And then it went to gay people. I don't want to have my kids go to Boy Scouts because maybe the, the scout leader is gay and he'll touch my kids. And now it's back to trans people. For the majority, there's barely any cases that substantiate any of those claims or those fears. Hey, OCTV, why is that not the argument being made here? Well, it's not the same because race and sexuality are two completely different things. They, they just are, right? So I think that it's incredibly disingenuous for somebody that is obviously white passing, right, to then somehow compare their personal issue to an issue that they have no idea about because they're not that. That was right? the point. That no. is the point. It's no. literally the point because the segregation that you're pointing out to, where did it start? What, segregation? We're, yeah, not talking, we're not talking about where segregation started. We're comparing it to how you're, you're treating at, trans you're... women. And you're pointing to, yeah, right, this, this is a thing. It doesn't matter. So where, listen. Where did it start? Listen, none of the uh, examples. I have been listening. No, none of where the examples I've listed are the same thing. You were talking about race, gay guys, and sexuality, and uh, trans people, agenda. It, it's all not the same. Not just black and white people and trans and cis people. It's, it's all different, but the argument's always the same. Like, I don't want to be in the bathroom with A, B, and C because they're not like me and it scares me. That's the well, argument for all three. Well, considering for the last, I don't know, 2,000 years, right, there's been a solid definition of what's male and female, right? And now we're mudding those waters. Yeah, because we learn because more about, not we as, learn more about now, sex and gender. Right, but now did it's you, not. Did you, want, did you still want an answer about, like, where segregation started or, like, when it started or, like, what – was that, like, a legitimate line of questioning or we, we moved on from that? I asked the question, it doesn't get answered, so okay. I'm just... I mean, I'm just, not sure. Yeah. What, yeah. We're not so, talking about segregation, we're talking about trans people. If you have, like, an origin of segregation that correlates to what we're talking about when it comes to trans people, then tell me. But if it doesn't, I want to stay away from topics that have nothing to do with what we're discussing. Right, so for the last 2,000 years, we've had a pretty solid definition of what's male and female, right? Males have penises, females have vagina. You're talking about sexual characteristics. Is it pretty accurate to Penises say Penis is a male sexual years, characteristic. That... Vaginas are a female sexual characteristic. Right. So when we get to today, and we're all trying to understand this language, which was the entire point of me even bothering to have a conversation, you don't think that there's any individual responsibility on the community in order to try and separate from the majority. You want to be completely included with the majority with a no. trans woman having a penis or a... Yeah. A trans man having that's gender. A vagina, that's not right. That's not sex. But you just said earlier that sexual characteristics and gender characteristics are the same. No, no, I not? said they could uh, correlate to one another, which is why the Supreme Court ruled the way they did. I didn't say they were the same. Right. So you think that a trans woman with a penis yeah. is a woman? Yeah. No. Yeah. It's not. How? how? And I give you an example. I give you an example, right? Because natural law. Right, which is what is natural whatever, law? What, if you'll listen, I'll be more than happy to tell you. Okay, tell me what that is before whatever dumb thing you're gonna say. <laughs> uh, you know, CTV, you can. At some, 
at some point, I would like you to take the conversation somewhat serious and not be ad hominem, right? Because I have been nothing but respectful this entire time. So the fact that you decide to say that I'm whole, saying you just said I was a man. that I'm saying something. No, what I yeah, said you was said trans what women I on said women. was is a trans woman okay. is not a woman because of, and I go to explain it, and you interrupt me. No, a trans woman is not a uh, cis Right, female. so you just saying that doesn't fucking stop me because I haven't made the fucking point yet. But you, okay, you're conflating so women with female. This, before, before this becomes a, a shouting match, um, I want uh, to make sure that the points are made clearly and so nobody's misconstruing and that uh, creates tension because then that's pointless. If it's a tension created out of a disagreement, that's fine, but not out of misconstruance. So, um, if that's even a real word, CTV, uh, please make your point clearly. You'll get like about 30 to 40 seconds to make your point clearly, and then I'll throw it over to Tiffany to respond to it. Um, uh, and this point should be made uninterrupted. So one of the things that I'm pretty passionate about in life is marijuana, right? So natural law, right? There are male and female plants when it comes to marijuana, just as an instance, and you can take this across the rest of the animal kingdom. Now, let's imagine a situation where there's a marijuana plant that has both male and female parts. Are you going to want to smoke that bud? No, you're not going to want to smoke that bud because as soon as the male parts uh, seed the female parts, the female parts are not going to be able to produce buds. So you're going to have a low THC content and you're not going to get what it is that you want out of it, right? So when I look at this situation and you try to tell me that a trans woman is a woman when they don't have the parts necessary, according to these characteristics, right? I think it's a pretty disingenuous thing to say that you are one thing, like to take the word trans out of it and just say you are a woman when there is a clear difference, right? I'm not sure what weed has to do with gender identity. If Natural you're- law. You if, you're, if, if your determination of what's male and female is like not male and female, but man and woman is what's in their pants, then you're, you're missing the point of being trans. People don't transition because, you know, the, their genitals dictate what they are. It's in their brain. They even have right, scientific but... studies that show that trans women's brains match that of cis women's, which means that's a biological component in my favor. And by mine, I mean the trans community. So why does the the yeah, brain structure the was able to be tested across but, the but entire But why does populace? brain structure can... not matter? But wait, 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 Okay, so yeah, no, I always find it funny when conservatives care about stuff like XY chromosomes or penises and vaginas, but then it, they totally ignore new and breaking details that come out on trans people, like how their brains match cis women, and it's almost like they want to ignore the biological data that coincides with being trans. But the point was, not just the biology, but trans people, it's all about their mental state, their mind. You know, if you could just transfer my brain into a cis woman's body, I'd fucking take that. That's so much easier. That's impossible. So what we have to do, what we're forced to do, is swap our bodies to match our mind. And that is what being trans is. It's not like we want to be this way. We, we just are this way. And there's only so much we can do. I like how a lot of conservatives will treat people who are trans like they have like a mental disorder. But then they treat them like shit as opposed to people who actually have like severe mental disorders. So it's like if you really thought it was a mental disorder, you'd try to, to help them. Which we already know what helps trans people. Gender reaffirming surgeries has proven that it helps them both mentally and emotionally. So it's like anything you throw at me is seems disingenuous. If you're basing anything that I Sorry, throw at you, it's going to be seen as disingenuous. And there is no way for you to be able to operate inside the community that you're trying to operate in. Because anything that anybody will say against you is somehow disingenuous from the start. Right. So that's where I say, when is the community or you as a part of this community going to take responsibility for the differences that there are when it comes to operating with the rest of society? Otherwise, all you're saying is, is you're, that I am this thing. Fuck anybody else that doesn't that has a different opinion. Anything that you say is disingenuous and I'm not listening from this point. Welcome back, Dylan. Anyways, uh, if you're really doing the majority argument again, I already brought this up that most people in the United States are side with trans people. This, this isn't the UK. <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, that's just a jab at the UK. If people are learning new things about trans people, it's not my job to teach all the people that don't want to learn about trans people about trans people. Just because you don't know the difference between someone who's trans or cross-dressing or something like that, that doesn't mean that there is no difference. The only argument I, I'm getting from you is if you have a dick, you're a boy, and if you have a vagina, you're a girl. And that's not how gender works. It's not a binary. There's a whole research document on yeah, it. Yeah, but hold on. Hold on. Slow down. We've already, you already admitted that most of these things have to do with your mind and not with your body. Right. So clearly there's a separation between the mind and the body, which I'm completely OK with. Oh, understanding. No, no, no. The problem that I have I didn't say that. is that whenever you are not willing to admit the differences in the bodies when it comes to operating within the rest of society. Right. And you don't feel like that there's any responsibility on you or anybody inside of your community when it comes to try, try to operate with the rest of the populace or at least be able to take the time to explain these things. But you don't. And you say that the arguments that any or anything that anybody would say would off Jump Street be disingenuous and therefore it's not your job to teach First them. off, the can mind ask, is a, a part of the body. Before, before you before you continue here. I just wanted to, because this has come up a few times, CTV, do you believe the the trans community, Um, you keep bringing up this idea of that the trans community taking uh, taking responsibility, do you believe the trans community is irresponsible? I kind of feel like that there being so many leveling degrees of what is considered transitioned, right, that there is a point where we come back to basic uh, biology of the body, right, and if you have X genitalia or you have Y genitalia and the bathrooms in this instance are separated along those lines that there is some type of responsibility to one educate those that are not affected by this right and to make sure that you have the patience necessary to do so and not be ad hominem or telling people that they're being disingenuous or any of the like right that's a responsibility on that community itself as soon as you start yelling out, oh, you're a transphobe, all you did was shut down dialogue, you bedrocked the other person's position, and now they really don't give a fuck about anything that you have to say I because said, now you're name calling. Well, trans people do try to educate people who are unaware about trans issues. The problem is we're such a small part of the population that we need uh, help. And we do have a lot of like pro-LGBT communities that are filled with cis people that do help. But if we're trying to teach people and they just don't want to listen, how is that irresponsible of us? We have data and you keep and bringing I'm up the bathroom bill and I keep saying there's no data to show that it's a threat and you keep saying it is. We have data that there's biological elements to being trans, which by the way, I said this earlier, but it bears repeating when I said uh, your brain's part of, you know, your body in case you forgot. So uh, yeah, uh, that that's still part of your body. So that is biological. What is your biggest contention? I don't want to shut you down if you if you if I trans women are not women, but they are. They are not. Yeah, they're not. What's the you are not the same as my wife. Yeah, I am. No, does it does it bother you not. that I'm just as much a woman as your wife? But you're not. How 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 so? What's between your legs? It doesn't matter if I had a vagina. What oh, would be the... it definitely matters no, if you're no, going no, to no. compare yourself no, no, no. to my wife. No, no, no. If I had wife, a vagina, what would be the difference? If you had a vagina, you would be the same as my wife, nope. but you don't, and I mean, therefore, why do I need a vagina to be the same as your wife? Because you're not female. Here's a question that I was posed to both of you. Now, this is this is going to make it in philosophy. What is a woman? First, I'll throw it over to CTV, and then I'll throw it over to Tim. <clears throat> what is a woman, CTV? Well, a woman, when she's born, uh, has a female genitalia or a vagina, and is identified at birth. Okay, that's, that's, that's it. Okay. Uh, Tiffany, it's your turn. The term woman, uh, we made up. There's no like intrinsic definition to it. So women can basically mean what we want. We have words already that uh, we can change on the fly and have. So women is basically what we, we deem it. If you're talking about sexual characteristics, I, I understand that there's a difference between sex and gender, but just because you're born with something between or not between your legs doesn't determine your gender. There are some points in biology where your genitalia is supposed to develop around the same time as your mind, and sometimes one will lag behind the other. And is that your, your fault if your genitalia develops differently than your brain? I, I think not. So saying that just what's between your legs determines your gender. Additionally, if you're going to bring up vaginas and all I have to do is go to the, the doctor and get a vagina, then I'm a woman. Except you, except you won't. How? You can't. How? Because it, it would be the same, because it would be the same argument that they made at Jurassic Park. What do you mean? 
Wait, what, what are you talking about Jurassic Park for? Well... How, how you, are trans women not women? Well, and besides, like your your, your idea of genitalia. If you're gonna ask the question, shut the fuck up. I, I will I will say I am deathly curious about Jurassic Park right now. I would love you to explain to me about this. Now it's the same argument that would be had at Jurassic Park, right? Now were the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park dinosaurs, or were they genetically mutated monsters that were put on for entertainment purposes? They were not dinosaurs, right? And we knew this if we watched the movies. And in this case. Just because you change your body and you did not develop it naturally doesn't make you the same. But it not... makes you similar, but not the same. No, 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 no. It, you're talking about body stuff, but we've already been over trans women brain right. structure. So that's where I said earlier. But that's that that's a, a body thing. You're, you're focused on what you, what you can put in between your face. We're talking about stuff that's inside your no. skull. You said there's a separation of the mind and body, which I complete. I said, yep, no, there's a separation the of the mind of the and body, body, in which case you decided to take, take the it. argument and say, oh, well, yeah, I don't understand the mind. And, right, and wait, is, what do you mean they weren't they, dinosaurs in Jurassic Park? They weren't. They were genetically mutated monsters that were mixed with frog is, DNA. Is that what they said? Does anyone remember the line, genetically mutated monsters from frogs? Yeah. They, they used they, the frog DNA to fill in the code, not that they weren't dinosaurs. They even said, they welcome dinosaurs. to... Like, it said, uh, welcome to the world of dinosaurs, or whatever that Did you not see the Lost said, World? Not welcome to the world of monstrous you didn't see the abominations. Lost world, you? you didn't see the Lost World, did you? Because they went into that in detail, right? But I can't believe I we're going over have... movies, which are totally fiction. <sighs> well, we're you trying to come talk up with... about how we can take out we blood are trying from a, uh, to mosquito. come up with some type of common language in order to be able to operate from. Right? I pick movies because most people have seen a lot of different movies, and that's why I use those correlations. That's why I use them during debates. Whenever somebody's sitting there talking about you know crime syndicates and you know all that other stuff, that's why I brought up Batman Begins in another one. In this one, however, it's very relevant because if the person was not born with the female genitalia from the start and then somehow gets it changed later, what about it's not people? natural. It's man-made, right? And because of that, it's not the same. What about intersex people? What about intersex people? What is that? Explain. They they just had someone who was born with a penis, so they raised them as a boy, but they came out as trans because they realized that they weren't boys, and it turns out they they actually had ovaries. So, what about intersex people? The, so that uh, would the, be a genetic what, mutation. Would, would what it would not? that mean if they have ovaries in the penis? That would be a genetic mutation, would it not? And now it just seems like you're splitting hairs. Were they a man or a woman? No. Well, what the fuck are you doing, splitting hairs? I'm not splitting hairs. This yes, you are. This scientific data came back. Do you want me to I go over we were, the validity of we, trans people? I thought we were. I thought we were splitting dino DNA. Yeah. But I gotta we're... say, I can't wait for that thumbnail. Trans dinosaurs this is gonna be great. But the there question was posed to you, CTV. Um, uh, what about intersex people? These are people that have. Uh, when you're you're talking about how you believe this all circles around the parts that people are born with, uh, the, these are people, individuals that have both parts. And Tiffany has posed a question: Are they men or are they women? Those decisions are left up to the individual or not for something to somebody to try and legislate from a place of un, un, un understanding, right? You just said left so, up to the individual, so trans people, they, it's not left up to them though, right? You determine that? What I am saying here is that those decisions that an individual makes is is for that individual to make. Whenever it comes to operating with the rest of society, which is the majority – you need to, those people would need to figure out some way to be able to communicate with the rest of society. You in keep a meaningful talking way. about sexual characteristics, though. When you're saying if you're born with a vagina or a penis, that makes you a man Boys or a woman. Penis, but no, it makes you vagina. your sexual characteristics male sexually characteristic or female sexual characteristic, not man or woman, which are terms we made up. We can change them to fit societal standards, especially when we learn more about trans people, which we've had. We, when, you say, when you say we, who is we made up? Who made that up? Who made what up? Well, this language. Who made it up? What the English language, or just male and female, like language people, humans, human beings, late, right? So human beings, yeah, have this have took this language, and yeah. you're saying that because there's two thousand years or more of history that describes male as as having penises and yeah. females having vagina, that somehow today that oh yeah. well, the last two thousand years doesn't matter, well, right? Yeah, we I mean, with, the, with technological we can advancements, we the language to say whatever it is that we want to say today. 
and make ourselves the same as, but you're not the same as. And that's where we're trying to get to some type of common language here because I don't we, see we have, you as uh, the same as my wife. We have scientific developments that we've encountered over the years with studies and research, and we've determined that gender is not what we initially perceived. That's why gender is a different term than sex. For example, like, if you're trying to, like, say that the last 2,000 years of data is legitimate, then that's just ridiculous. It's modern right now that... Yeah, why should we listen to history? We can learn from history, but we shouldn't dictate everything history said. I mean, we'd still be burning witches if that was the case. So, no, uh, we, we have to go with the science and data, with the technology witches? we developed in recent years to determine... When was the last time people were burning determine, witches? When was the last time people were burning witches? I will... Google that now. Well, it wasn't over two thousand years ago. No, it was. It was about four hundred years. Exactly. Ago. So right. But you so, just yeah. said two thousand. So you're obviously saying... society was able to learn from there. Now we don't burn people at the yeah, stake. Yeah, and right? we're, so trying we're trying to help to do... you learn about uh, trans people now. Well, you're not trying to understand where anybody else is coming from because anybody. You just said earlier that if I had a vagina, I'd be like white. You think it's disingenuous, and because it's disingenuous, you don't bother engaging with it. No, no, and you just think you just said if I had a vagina, I would be like your wife. So that's all you care about is the genitalia. That's not about being trans. The the last person killed for witchcraft was uh, this year in September in Somalia, maybe. Oh, totally learned our lesson there, CTV. You know what? If they if they had watched Jurassic Park, they would have learned. For that, it was 2012 in Saudi Arabia, uh, then 2011 in Saudi Arabia, 2010 in Ghana, and 1648 in Jersey. So yeah. that's I was more referring to the Salem witch trials, which was the 1600s. So thank you for pointing that out. So with that being said, the language it seems like you feel that you can change it to whatever it is that you wish. Well, not me right? personally. Because uh, oh, no, 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 that's what you said. Well, you science, said that... like people who, who actually know what they're talking about. Oh, Jesus. No, so Jesus had you... nothing to do with it. Oh, Jesus had a lot to do with it. He really did. Uh, so you feel like that the language can be changed to suit whatever your needs are and fuck everybody Not else. Not my needs. Uh, just the basic stuff we learn from science. So you're telling me that science doesn't say that there are males and females? No, it does. We're talking about gender. We're okay. not talking about sexual characteristics. Right. We're talking so about man and woman, not male and female. You're conflating them. Science says that there are males and females, right? And that's the majority of people, right? You do realize when people transition, they generally that's transition the from one gender to the other, so it's still male and female? Majority of people, male and female, yes or no? I just told you that even people who transition, transition from male to female or man to woman, so are it still would be two genders. It wouldn't be... People, male or female, yes or no? I, I'm pretty sure I just explained yes. You didn't do anything except avoid the question. Are the majority how did, how of did people I avoid male it? or female? No, I said yes, the, but that but okay. that only helps my case when I just said trans people, most trans people, not all, most trans people who transition transfer from one to the other. There's no like third gender. No one's talking about that. But isn't that what you're what you're basically saying that there is, no, which I would agree no, with? Uh-uh. It's just not another, male. Or we're just another type of woman, just trans women. We're, we're different, but we're still women. It's not the same. Yeah. Well, no, I know it's not the same. We're different, but we're still women. Okay, you're not the same. So why is it that you think that it's okay for you to use the same language to describe yourself as a woman when because you can already women. admit that it's not the same? Yeah, of course it is. It's not the same. Yeah. Like, no, yeah, it's not. Like, yeah. I feel like this is just becoming elementary school, right? And this, this, no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's no, not. Your right? biology you ended in like said, sixth grade. Okay. That's different. when your biology okay. education ended. But <laughs> we're talking okay, about okay. current standards. Okay, so let's let's look at this for a second. Okay, so I uh, what we're going to do is uh, so it's not just central uh, like elementary level and can't just be yes, no, yes, no. You're gonna have uh, a period of time, both of you, to make that case uh, individually without being interrupted, um, and then you will go. Uh, one uh, will go. Uh, I was going to start with CTV, and then we're going to go to Tiff. Conversation has been is broken down. The person that is on the other side of this has not right. meaningfully engaged. They have both said that they are not the same, and then try to claim that they are the same. So the language is being conflated. No, no, here. no, no. There's not that... any type of agreement. And whenever that happens, I don't feel like that the conversation is moving in any kind of direction that's meaningful because 
anything that I say is automatically viewed no, as disingenuous. I said trans women are the same in regards to that them has being already women. been said. So Not since that's already been said, there's no way for me to be able to have any type of conversation with somebody that assumes anything or actually okay. has said that anything that I say is disingenuous. No, I've okay, said okay. trans women well, are women, well, well, you, and that's you, how you they're the same, but I acknowledge that trans women have differences. I didn't say they were the same and not the same. It's not contradictory. There are differences so between saying, tall saying, women, short women, fat women, so skinny women, black to, to women, clarify, white women. It's like, it's like they're a type of woman. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, okay. Dylan gets it. I, I'm, I'm not supposed to take sides, but I'm just trying to help the dialogue move along by translating this. So CTV, she seems to be saying that they, they are women. They're just a type of woman, as in a tall woman is different from a short woman. Fat woman, so skinny a woman, trans black woman, woman would be woman. different from what is referred to as a cis woman. Yeah, I'm okay but with still, the language but being trans women. woman. I'm not okay with the language being woman, and I don't think. Why? That... Why do you care so badly? What? Why, what does it impact why do you? Why do you care so badly? That you're because the one that it affects my most. livelihood. People like me get killed because they don't know the difference. People like you spew stuff that gets people like me killed, and you don't do it on purpose, CTV. I know you don't do it. Because I think you enjoy my company, like outside of here when we just shooting the shit. But inside of this debate, like your rhetoric hurts me. It hurts people like me. We're just but trying hurts, to live and be ourselves and hurt no you would, one. But you keep saying you we're somehow... hurting people what, in what bathrooms and all sorts of shit that just isn't founded. You have no data for it. Okay, I'm getting okay, a lot CTV. of follows. Thank you, everyone. C I love you all. Okay, CTV, please, please go on. I want you to have time to speak here. Yeah, I think it's very hurtful that somebody comes into the room and says that they are the same as something, and then in the same sentence says that they are not the same as something, but then they're supposed to be the same as something. We just went right? over this. No, we, let's, let's see TV finish. She has had a real big problem with language tonight. The language that you're using is conflating the language apart a lot of other different spectrums, and you think that the language that should be used is the language that you choose to use, Right rather than the language that everybody else is, as, is already accustomed to, and then by therefore conflating the language, somehow make it to where these people are exactly the same as these other people when they're not, right? That's right there is at the core of anybody that has any type of issue when it comes to understanding this thing. Now, if you were to come along and say, instead of saying trans women are women, if you just said, I'm a trans woman, what's wrong with that? I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. Everybody should just be accepted for who they are. But somehow, and I, I really hate whenever we get into conversations like this, and the first things that you start doing are, are ad hominem attacks or being disrespectful or any of the other things that has happened during this conversation, and then somehow think that you're going to win somebody over on an argument whenever you're doing those things to them. The same things that happen to anybody else, you haven't said at this conversation, and, but I haven't bothered looking in chat. But I'm pretty sure, if I did, that somebody in chat has probably already called me a transphobe at this point. So with that being said, that's the real problem, is because the language is so conflated and said to mean something that it doesn't, that's where all of these problems come in. So like I said at the very beginning of this, what I wanted to do was to be able to clear the language, and we have not been able to do that because you want the language to mean the exact same thing when to the majority of the population, it just simply doesn't. Okay. Dylan, help me. I'm uh, brimming with, with words. Help with me. With words? Uh, I'm, when you're also starting to get brimming with alcohol, okay? <laughs> I'm not that bad. You, wait, okay, really? You think I'm that bad? No, no. It's just last, it's just jangles as you get put a deep fear in me i'm, I'm not jangles trust me i have okay. way bigger tits than you jangles hold, you, you can hold your liquor better than jangles <laughs> yeah i used to be a stripper like a legit stripper on the pole that was the only job i've ever had where my boss is like yeah you can drink on the job so my tolerance went from crap to whoa anyways uh not mm -hmm. one thing i said tonight in regards to definitions of words have not met the definition you're just conflating sex with gender, if that's your issue, if you're doing that. If you want to have a discussion about words, even though you just said that you don't consider me a woman, we've just been over this with Dylan, that a trans woman's a specific type of woman. You're like, you're fine with trans women saying they're trans women? Th that's fine. They're still women. They're just another type of woman. So what's, what's wrong with calling me a woman? Because you're not the same. No, but neither are tall women and short women. 
we went over this. So what do you mean we're not And what same? you're saying is that whoa, whoa. characteristics that have been used to define whoa. gender and sex over you the just years somehow said don't matter today. earlier that if I got a vagina, I'd be the same as your wife. Are you detracting no, that statement? No, I didn't say that, actually. You did? Apparently you weren't. No, I you, didn't because oh apparently God. you weren't paying attention no, during you, the whole I said, what if I got a vagina analogy. and you said then you'd be the same? You said oh, that. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. People can go back and check it. This is exactly why I brought up Chat Jurassic saying you Park. did say that. Are you not you paying totally attention? You totally fucking did. You're not paying attention. When that you was sober up, you'll realize when you I mean, watch this. That I mean, to be to be fair, CTV, the nuances of the Jurassic Park argument go over a lot of uh, people's heads due to just, you know, they, just not being educated on uh, Jurassic Park affairs and Jurassic Park, like, theory. So yeah, to be fair, it? that threw me off. Like, I thought you were talking about Dilophosauruses, but... Then we were talking about triceratopses uh, and how uh, they identify. No, no, no. It's, it's, a tra it's a Transosaurus Rex, you know? Transosaurus Rex, yeah. Like, you know, just because that T-Rex had a vagina doesn't mean that they secretly wanted to uh, transition and wish they had a big floppy T-Rex dick. CTV, did you, <laughs> did you want to restate it? I, 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 that was a legitimate thing. I don't see how there's a way to have a... a uh a genuine conversation here there's a conflation of the language there's a mischaracterization and so far as i'm concerned when it comes to this issue transgender people while i definitely do support title nine and their ability not to be discriminated against i want them to be able to live happy and long lives <coughs> right why are you sure. coughing there uh oh, you don't think so uh i i don't think you think so Right, so you're being disrespectful now and telling me How's what I think. How is that disrespectful when you just said I can't go into a woman's restroom? Anybody that's watching this right now that just saw that knew that you were doing that for effect and it was in, intended to be disrespectful. And right? you took the bait, so who who's the sucker now? No, the fact that you did it is the fucking problem. Well, I did it because it's disingenuous. We just well, called in... <laughs> You just said I wasn't a woman. So because anything you say that's like, oh, I because totally you're respect not. the Deal trans with it. community. You're not a woman. And I think that Deal they should it. be happy. And I'm like, you're not you a woman. Deal with over. it. The language is that trans women are wait, different okay. from wait, women. No, you have already no. stated no. that yourself. No, let me so olive branch you. No, let me olive branch you. CD. I don't want to olive branch shit, right? Because the reality is, is that trans women what are different. I'm women. What That's you, just a fact. What did you want to discuss tonight besides your fear of like people in the restroom? I wanted to be able to find some type of common ground in the language, which you have been unable to do. The language All you have is done subjective. Is that anything that like I say is disingenuous. And then you start over talking me. And then when I stop to be respectful no, wait, to you, no, see, you see, start doing it again. So at some point, I need to just I keep over by, talking you okay, because okay, you're okay, not fucking okay, listening. Okay. 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 I'm going to cut this here. We're going to put a cut here. So there's uh, a huge lockup on on one thing, and that has to do with the with the idea that um, and I don't and I, I I personally think it's due to miscommunication, but I might be wrong. Uh, that uh, that that Tiffany, uh, you were being disingenuous because at one point you said that trans women are women, right? But they're also different. And did you did you want to clarify that again, or did you want to say that again because this, he he brought that up on multiple occasions? If you wanted to make a point on that, so I, I didn't want to say it so loud. Cause, like I didn't want to like be blunt because I thought this was going to be more laid back discussion. It was supposed to be a more laid back discussion. It, it which can is why be I made still. It, it the can be still if you shut Hold up on. and we start this over. This is why I was sitting here taking notes, right, about oh, what are your the notes? past and what's been going on with you Someone and how you came to this at point, those notes. and then somehow the conversation went from. Me trying to be genuine and trying to get to know you, trans so women you telling me that I'm wrong. Oh, no, I'm responding you to Dylan. Dylan, okay, okay, okay. tell CTV to. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm telling everybody to, to shut down for a moment. Okay, so this is getting very loud and very not productive on this one point right here. And uh, but it's also it's it, the thing is about the specific point is it's kind of integral to any conversation about trans issues is whether they are uh, a, a trans man is a man or a trans woman is a woman uh, is like the, one of the most integral points. So it's not something I can like, well, let's see if we can move on to another topic. That's no, why I, I'm sorry. I'll it, clarify like your question. I do think trans women are women because they are, but I acknowledge that there are differences with trans women because there's differences with other types of women as well. We've been over this. Um, 
I don't know why CTV has an issue acknowledging this, or maybe he's just purposely not acknowledging it. The point is that trans women are women, and yes, I acknowledge there are differences. Uh, there are trans women that are born with penises, most of them are, and they got screwed in the genetic lottery, and they know that they got screwed in the genetic lottery, and they changed their bodies to match their mind. And that's all trans women are trying to do. And then everyone in society is trying to shit down their throat when they're just trying to live fruitfully and not get murdered and not get ridiculed and not get shat on and not have their rights taken away. Specifically from the recent administration who had fucked trans women over immensely. Not even LGBT people, trans women specifically. I'm not just talking about the ban in the military. I'm talking about forbidding trans women from from joining homeless shelters that are for cis women, which would, what, relegate them to being homeless or going to men's homeless shelters where they will be assaulted? We've had studies on this. This isn't anything new. Healthcare I think you provided... just pointed out a pretty... No, I'm not I done. Please, just... please, please, please. Healthcare providers can discriminate <laughs> against trans women based on their religious values. This is this is not normal. This we should not be doing this to other people who are just trying to live and trying to just get through life just like everyone else. We want to be accepted. We you don't have to accept us the way that you think we want you to accept us, but you should accept us. You if are you want to talk about something like with language, I don't know what you want me to do. I told you there's a difference between gender and sex. Moving back to CTV, you Got the floor. You said there are differences. The problem comes in when you're trying to say that you are the same as something else when you're not. That's just the fact. Now, I I have no problem with a trans woman saying I'm a trans woman, right? And I have no problem with uh, them being able to live a happy life, right? The problem that – and I think it's very telling – that you pointed out the the homeless situation, right? There's more things out there for women than there are men, right? I think that's very that's telling about society. That's not what I said, but... CTV, you can continue. Jesus. Jesus, give me patience right now. So I think it's very telling that in our society, there are not as many things available to men as there are to women, right? You pointed that out. And you said that trans women would not be accepted because they are not cis women, as you put it. Is that correct? No, I was talking about Trump's administration forbidding us from I'm being... I'm literally talking about the point that you brought up about no. homeless shelters. Yeah, that not was a she, Trump... She's, trans... She is currently clarifying what she said. Yeah, so, that, that was mean, something Trump did this. in his administration. I think specifically uh, Ben Carson forbidding trans women from joining cis women shelters. This has nothing to do with what you're talking about. I'm specifically talking about legislation... What am I talking about? Implemented to harm us. Finish the whole thought, then I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. So please tell me what it is that I'm thinking, so that I don't have to worry about. You're thinking, thinking that right? trans women are women, and you love us, and you're an ally that's now. That's not what I'm thinking. <laughs> so since that's not what I'm thinking, right? What I said was, that was a joke. That I think that it's fair. Well, I did. It, did I laugh? I so know. you failed. So Enjoy there are it. a lot more things out there for for women than there are for men, right? There are a lot more things out there to be able to help women than there are for men so that's where there is a societal problem when it comes to helping out individuals right what does this have to do with trans people everything no it, it doesn't oh, let me let me ask ctv what does it have to do with trans people well from what i understand these people were getting were being denied access to to cis women into these shelters because they are not the same which I'm assuming is what she meant. And since they're not the same, that's why they weren't allowed admittance. So it's very telling that there isn't any, hardly any facilities out there to be able to take care of men. It's just assumed from Jump Street that men can just go live out in the woods in a tent and there's not as much help for them uh, in general, which has been my experience in life. We're not talking uh, about men. I wanted to ask a question. I want to clarify CTV quick. When you said cis women uh, were being denied these, do you mean trans women or did you mean cis women? Well, Tiffany said cis women were being allowed, but trans women were okay. not. Got it. Okay. Got it. Right? So that's exactly what I'm saying is that it's telling that there are a lot more – is there's a lot more help out there for women – than there are for trans women, right? And there's not because they are seen as something different. I don't know how we get to the point to where everybody gets the, the help that they need, but what is not going to help is to tr keep trying to conflate the language 
to say that you're the same as this when you're not, right? Because if you're in complete argument about this is what I've heard through this whole thing is that the mind is separate from the body, right? I didn't say so that. So the mind is what matters and you're trying to change your body to match what's going on in your mind, right? So that means that. that there are clear differences with your body than there are with your mind and you're trying to make them match in order for you to be able to to be happy, right? So with that being said, there are differences and not acknowledging those differences from everybody else is disingenuous because A is not A when A is B, right? They're not the same. We just acknowledge that there's differences. When I say we're the same, I mean trans women are women. When I say we're different, I mean we know that trans women are different from cis women, but that doesn't mean we're not women. We went over this like three times in a row. (sighs) And somehow we keep coming to you saying that trans women are women. Yes, because trans women are women. And I didn't say the mind and body was separate. I'm saying you can't. You did say the mind and body were separate. No, no, no. I said the the mind, it cannot be separated from the body. You're forced to transition your body to match your brain because you can't take the brain out and put it in the sexual body that you want to be. Otherwise, that'd make it way easier. We don't have to worry about trans people then. We just have to worry about, like, non-binary people. So it certainly sounds like you just said that there is a separation of the mind and the body. The and mind's you're trying part to of the body. body. We went over oh, this. Oh, my Jesus Christ. And oh you're trying God. to make the body match the mind. Yeah, because the mind's part of the body, and you can't change one of them, so you change the other. I, I don't understand is why, this, how this complicated? Is this huge language barrier that's going on right you say there are differences and that you're trying to How match the different? mind to the body but then when you say that the body is different you don't at the same time make the difference that trans women are not women right because reality is that's the language that's being beat that has been used for the last two thousand years or more no, you're right about and about it's sexual characteristics can i ask day. a question the- from chat uh, that's uh, been proposed please help me Okay, so I'll I'll pose a question uh, both ways. Um, he <laughs> both ways. <laughs> Tiff, I'll pose one to you first, and then I'll pose the one from chat. Tiffany, throughout history, uh, it seems that in the vast majority of uh, societies, gender has been uh, defined as between a man and a woman. Why is it now that this there's this huge change and huge come up with this with this new thing that? like ctv and and me didn't really know of us uh, as younger children or it's not we really a new thing there's been trans people throughout uh the history obviously they didn't have the same resources we do now like hormone treatment and stuff like that but uh they're conflating again like ctv gender with sex uh gender the more we research and uh figure out more about the human body especially uh studying trans people the more we learn and like i said earlier we're learning a lot about trans people now more than we did two three four five hundred years ago language is destined to change it's happened before we've changed the definitions of plenty of words to fit new uh discoveries for example pluto is no longer a planet it's a moon that happened years ago, and that's just changing the definition of it because they realized that it didn't fit the, the means of being a planet. And it's kind of the same way here. The more we learn about gender with the uh, advancements in scientific technology and studies, the, the more we just change. And that's really it. If you're trying to go back in time and pretend words still mean the same thing they do today, then you're living back in time. We have to progress. We have to learn new things. That's what we do as human beings. Okay, I have a question for CTV, and then you can both, after this, respond to anything you've heard during the answering the questions. CTV, there's been a huge markup on uh, either semantics or a f- fundamental disagreement, but around the idea of uh, Tiffany saying uh, that trans women are women, but but they're uh, different uh, from cis women, and uh, you say that that's um, that's contradictory. So uh, something that was proposed from chat, and I'll just take this from chat, was that you are different from uh, Tiffany, but you are also a human. Would that not also be comparable? Well, no. And the reason why is human beings would be the, 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 the starting category, right? And then after that would be male, female, and in this case, transgender. So right? wouldn't woman be the starting category and then it's trans women, cis women? Or... I don't think so. I, th- I think that 
uh, especially when we brought out the case of hermorphodites, right? Those are genetic anomalies that happen in society. It's different from the norm, right? And the norm being male and female. When you have some type of anomaly, you have to try to figure out from a societal point uh, how these things are different. And because of the, like, when you start off with human being male, female, I would sh shift it over to transgender and then go from there because male and female are still the majority population of the, of human beings. And to somehow say that these things are exactly the same as one or the other, right, is not, I feel like it's kind of disingenuous to say that they would be the same for two reasons. One, because male and female is the, the primary categories to say that first. But second, I don't think that it draws enough attention to the unique situation that these people are having to deal with, right? And I really feel like that with the different issues that are inside this community, that it's more important to make sure that these people are, uh, what's the right way? What's the right way? Well, how do that they are understood for what those differences are so that the collective society can better understand and be able to interact meaningfully with the community knowing what the differences are, right? Because no one wants to, no one, or at least I don't try to until somebody disrespects me, I don't try to be disrespectful to people without them having been disrespectful to me. So I would, I would want there to be uh, a separation simply because trying to include them in the majorities is, I, I don't feel like it, it would draw enough attention to the unique issues that these individuals have to deal with versus what the majority is. Okay. Uh, before we continue this, I have one thing I want to say to chat. Uh, right now, City Skylines is currently free on the Epic Game Store. So just throwing that out there for anybody who's been looking at that game or getting that game like me. I know I have Epic, free. so hold on. I'm going to get yeah, that right now. Yeah. City Skylines, it's a, it's a good um, Oh, and, and Dylan, I don't know if you've been keeping track, but I have actually gotten to level 31 on, you guessed it, Raid Shadow Raid Legends. Shadow Legends. Wow, level thirty. You've been dueling it out. You're you're in front of Bastiat right now. You're ahead of him. He's currently sponsored by Red. He's following well, me because I'm the Trailblazer. Of course he did. I mean, you're the Trailblazer, right? Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that's a given. Yeah, I, I bring. I brought. Uh, this was like the. It was like kind of like a rusted out community full of hollowed out old factories, and I brought business back. You know. By the way, everyone, if you get City Skylines, it's usually a $30 game completely free, so there's no reason not to get it. Epic Games has been really kind to me. I've been getting a lot of free games off there. I don't know if they're one of your sponsors, but if they are, I, I generally like Epic Games. You know what you should do, though? You should get Raid Shadow Legend and make all the hottest trans women you can in the game to push against CTV's anti-rhetoric. <laughs> what was that CTV I didn't hear you? Oh, I just sounded like uh, there was free shilling happening on your airtime. <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, I just <laughs> shilled the same thing he shilled, though. Yeah, but, but I did it. But I did it cool. Think, but wait, I, did I didn't it do it cool. cool? Hold on. Oh, I you know what I didn't? Cool, I do this. I think go city yeah, skylines. But, but my hair is better, though, so. Wait, so. really? I think my nice hair. Yeah. You know what? My tits are better well, than no. though. Um, you know what? Okay. I'll give you that one because I'm not going to debate that one. I'll debate it. I think he's got better hair. And here's here's an example that I'll give that you. Did I, send, did I send you a leash? No, I didn't. But I sent Dylan. That, that sounded is really so bad weird. out of context. That sounded really Listen, bad out of context. Listen, I'm not kink shaming, but this is Dylan's <laughs> podcast. That sounded really bad out of context. Does it have context? spikes on the side of it? No, 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 no. Okay, let me Are you going to post, like, <laughs> BetLife photos? <laughs> I can't. I can't. I don't have to Okay. So I have it. I can get it. So CTV. Somebody should be clipping that right there. Okay, give me a second. Nobody clipped it. Nobody clipped that. Nobody clipped that. <laughs> Nobody clip this and put it on YouTube. Oh, well, now you He's know everybody has to clip hole. this. And when he Come on. We had, we had dogs. He he made me this this leash. Um, <laughs> he made me this leash for the doggo. Right. That's what happened. Okay. 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 <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> okay. It's almost uh, like I pre-planned that joke. The that you sent me this just for that. <laughs> almost. Listen, CGP, if you pre-planned that, then kudos to you. That was amazing. Oh. I told my wife about this. She can confirm. <laughs> His wife's okay with it. You can post it on Bet Life. She's been watching the show, man. She didn't watch it with me. So <laughs> Okay. At least we're getting okay. some laughter now as opposed to See, the if there's, ever been a, if there's ever been a reason to subscribe to Dylan Burns TV, it's after something like that. To give me a pick me up after that, Al. Okay, so okay. Is there anything else that either of you wanted to cover before we were done? No, like I said, Tiffany, I'll, I'll end with this kind of as a recap. I feel like that it was more important to make sure that the, the distinction is made so that the unique problems that happen inside this community can be drawn attention to specifically because we do still have issues that affect women and men, and I don't feel like that there needs to be a muddying of the waters because it. I feel like it would take away from the other two communities that still – have their own issues going on. So that's that's where I'm kind of at with it. Uh, I can see that there are differences, but at the same time, I... I uh... Don't give a fuck about the community that I'm part of? No, that's not it at all. You I'm just said, that... I'm worried about these two communities, and you're like, oh, but the other one. Right. That's It's telling that that's what you thought that I was going to say. It lets me know what no, you think. No, not what you were me. saying, how you oh, acted. No, 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 no. I didn't get to finish what I said because you decided to go there first, right? So you literally don't think much about you don't consider me because us you would assume like negative mainstream mainstream start. Society, so let me finish. So well, let me finish. Okay. CDV. Right? You can go on. The issues that happen inside the man and woman communities, male and female, right? Are unique, just like the issues and the problems that happen inside the trans community is unique, right? And I feel like the, the separation there is very important because uh, everybody has their own issues that go inside their community. Now, that's from a societal standpoint. From a legal standpoint, I'm very happy that transgender people were uh, brought into the the fold in Title IX so that we can make sure that they were not discriminated against. I feel like that's very important that that is what happened there because then if there's anybody in the future that may not identify along the lines that are already prescribed now, that they will be able to have a voice in the future underneath the parent group, right? So while we may disagree on the language and how things are perceived in this world, Understand that as a human being, I want you to be able to live freely inside this country and have a voice. The whole thing is, CTV, uh, as much as I enjoy his antics, uh, he's, he's pretty much living in the past. He doesn't know the difference between gender and sex. He's, just, he's shown that numerous times tonight. Uh, we've tried to talk about it. He's just so focused on genitalia, which I don't blame him because we have incredibly hot genitalia. Uh, joking aside, um, this discussion, he's tried to fearmonger about trans women in restrooms. He's tried to fearmonger about other stuff without any kind of data. I have data galore up here that I was waiting to use, but I didn't think I had to because CTV is so focused on language. I feel like we didn't get to any real substantial content, which kind of makes me upset. I feel like we couldn't get past language where gender and sex are not the same. And we're just going in circles about how he thinks the only thing that determines what makes you a man or a woman is genitalia when that's not, that's not true at all. As much as I like CTV, I don't think he knows anything about the transgender community. Community. I don't think he knows the difference between uh, man and woman and male and female, and I feel like we could have gotten further here. I thought he was going to get into anything more substantial, but the most substantial we got was fucking bathroom stuff, and I feel like there's still a lot of talk about, but I don't know if I can talk about it with CTV because he can't get past language, which is already set in stone. Okay, uh, looks like uh, we have reached this conversation's natural conclusion. Uh... 
I want to thank you both for coming on today. It was uh, an exciting show with many twists and turns that I did not expect with trans dinosaurs, uh, misquoted leashes, um, and and many, many, many statements. So, so I want to thank you both for coming on and tell you both that uh, you can shout yourself out now, and I wish you both a blessed day. And please stop posting the link to that clip in chat. I told you not to clip it. It was my pleasure, and I hope I get invited back on. Maybe it's just something a little more in-depth. I thought this would be better than just going back and forth between the same thing for like an hour. So I'm a little upset about that. Uh, but thank you for inviting me here. I think there should be more movies based off transsexual dinosaurs. In fact, we should probably, you know, push that, you know, with your platform. We should... We should do some like a uh, crowdfunding, get some like transsexual dinosaur action going on. You can find me on my Twitch channel, which is xxx tiffany underscore star with two R's. xxx dot you know com, and you can find me on YouTube at tiffany star t i f f a n y s t a w r. Thank you for watching me, Dylan's chat. Mm. Fucking love you a lot. Wonderful. Now I'm gonna throw you over to CTV. Well, now that we're done just completely being negative i felt like that the the conversation could have moved forward if we could have found some type of common ground to admit in what was actually said but since somebody didn't want to actually admit what was said and then dylan needed to get involved and then we needed to conflate the language further it was really hard to be able to have an intellectual conversation with somebody that couldn't agree to some very basic terms that were laid out by themselves and then once stated we couldn't move forward right so at that point uh i felt like that uh the conversation because anything that i would say was automatically viewed as disingenuous would have a hard time moving forward with somebody if they were actually trying to commit to the conversation genuinely so uh in the future, I don't feel like that there could be any type of meaningful discussion about the subject unless there can be an agreement to the terms from the start. That's why I asked for you to lay them out, and this is where we ended up. The uh, misquote was not a misquote, right? The joke was laid out a little while back, but it was still a funny joke nonetheless. And that's about all I got on that. Okay. Well, I want to thank you again, uh, both of you again, for coming on the show. Uh, I can't wait to continue to make content with both of you. And I really hope you all have a blessed day. Hey, Dylan, did you have fun? Did I have fun? I, I, I will say that I've, I'm really tired because I did Christmas shopping today. And I delivered chocolates to people in my community today. And I did this thing. with the, I did a lot of stuff today. And I got very little sleep. I got like four hours. So I, I was kind of dazed and off at times because of just sleep depravity. But then I heard Jurassic Park, and I've I've been awake ever since then. Well, to be fair, I saw you kind of, and I'm and, and I'm sure Chat saw you at the same time. You're kind of like this, you know. Yeah, I was, I was, I was. Right. I was so then I was like, I gotta I get Dylan's you were attention your somehow. Eyes, How can like, I do oh, that? These two. Jurassic Park, I knew would do it, right? It doesn't the other debates. So why does CTV say those things sometimes? Well, if Dylan's falling asleep, we got to figure out some way to make it interesting and that right there <laughs> tiffany just tells me that there's no showmanship other than just being negative and attacking people yeah i know being, i'm sitting there being trying honest to have about lgbt issues is so boring right that's what i want if is only I want... we made if only we made shit up and talked about dinosaurs that would totally change I'm, everything. if you would have actually been able to agree to terms on words to begin with we that you laid because out we didn't we agree on the terms of the words that's the problem we could have totally went into other shit but all you did was you bathrooms didn't. you and wanted words. to keep arguing language so then Dylan, i have to go no please set language, me up against enough, someone that knows the difference between gender and sex the hippie dippy round table is the number one rated political roundtable on political twitch that's centrally political only political on here uh and so i i i want to keep that title and i only can keep that title by continuing to produce the best content because everybody and their mama wants to make a roundtable but only dylan burns can create the hippie dippy 
round table which, which means subscribe to his channel content exactly subscribe donate i just hosted a a a, de- a debate about trans issues that had tra- tranosaurus rex trans jurassic park in it 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 was it was off the walls it was it was good content while also uh while many people was like how is it educational i'll tell you people did get stuff of substance out of this i got some things of substance out of this people coming in here with maybe not a lot of knowledge about trans issues might have been able to get some substance out of it publicity at tiffany and other people could have maybe gotten some substance out of it of hearing what uh, ctv's point to maybe get a more right-wing political viewpoint it's the only where place on political twitch right now where you can really see the right and the left go head to head is on dylan burns tv so any subscribe uh, subscriptions donations bits any of it will really help out the channel. It was a wonderful debate, and I'm happy to see that uh, uh, that you were able to uh, have some smiles on your faces at the end of it. Okay, to, to be fair, I was coming in here thinking it'd be more laid back, but I didn't realize uh, CTV didn't know what words meant, and that's one of the issues that plagued almost the entire debate, which I don't even think this was supposed to be a debate, otherwise I would have brought up more data. I don't know, I still had a good time, and even though CTV doesn't consider me a woman, even though I'm like really, you know, feminine and hot, and I, I still enjoy CTV's conversations. If nothing for the memes, uh, he's he's a pretty cool guy. CTV? Yeah, uh, I couldn't agree more if you could have gotten past what you said, and then we agree, like, you couldn't agree that you said that, right? <laughs> Uh, if we could have gotten past the language barrier, because the intention, like I said to start, was more like a fireside chat, uh, being more relaxed. But as soon as you decided to go to some type of disrespectful ad hominem attacks and not agreeing to language and then not even agreeing to what you said before, it gets really hard to be able to have a genuine conversation. Hence, frustration from anybody that is taking the time to, as I've pointed out, take notes about you and your history so that we can have that kind of meaningful conversation your and history what what scandal was tiffany involved in where did she smuggle weapons well so i you know uh, where i, I smuggled them those, up i can't disclose those specific details right now in, in chat but what i can say is that with the amount of weaponry that we are talking about it's going to garner a lot of attention and I think that our foreign policy or our resident foreign policy expert and his opinion might be very important. So uh, I, we know where these weapons are going. Uh, we're just not exactly sure what the destination is, but we definitely know where they came from. <laughs>